It keeps refocusing. Oh, yeah, I see that. I don't like that. I don't either. Stop it. Stop! <laughs> Welcome to Stu Movies, where we watch them so you don't have to. That's right! This week, we watched Grace's Room. Yes, 2016. Not ready to 97 minutes. Short. short. Long. <laughs> 97 minutes short. Uh, directed by Tyler Am. Um, track. Um, Starring Rachel Alleg. Yep. And a Alleg. bunch of other people bunch who didn't have people. pictures on IMDb. That's right, yeah. Hang in there, guys. You'll get a picture one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, you might. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, what happened in this Grace's room? All right. So, um, group of kids. Yeah. They're like early in their 20s. early twenties. Yep. Are house sitting mm -hmm. for a girl's aunt and aunt, cousin, aunt, uncle, aunt, yeah, and cousin, yeah. And while they're there, they go into the thirteen-year-old girl's room, which is kind of creepy. A little, weird. little invasion of privacy. Trying to find they're, a notebook. Yeah. They're looking for a notebook and a and a colored pen. Yeah. Click, 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 Stuff happens. It gets, gets kind of weird after that. It gets a little weird. So, speaking of that, what do we like? We like the weird concept. It's very strange. A lot of weird very stuff strange. going on from start to finish. Uh -huh. What? It's like, uh, it's not Child's Play. It's Bride of Chucky with a little bit of seed thrown in. A little bit of seed. Yeah. So, the good parts, not the... Right. Not the Billy parts. No. <laughs> and it is funny. Uh, there are a lot of humor in it. Um, and it's meant to be stupid uh, humor. So it's like Dumb and Dumber type humor. Uh, it's a mood movie. If you're not in the mood, you're going to think it's stupid. Yeah. It's like stupid movies the movie. Yeah. 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 Exactly. And, and that goes with the tone of it, too. It's really goofy. Very goofy. Really goofy. Very goofy. And that's yep. fun. That makes for a fun watch. For Some of the acting was okay. It's serviceable for what it is for this kind of movie. They do a pretty good job. Yeah. Um, you know, some not so much, but overall, the <laughs> the main characters were pretty solid. Yeah. They're fine. The, the main cast of five were good. Yeah. Most of the supporting characters were good. Yeah. They were believable. Yeah, there's the, some authenticity. The, the, the main five, I believe that they were friends. Yeah, they seem like good buds. Yeah. Dude, I dig the Riverfest setting. Yeah. It's kind of like a, a carnival state, state fair, fair sort of mix up. And it was fun, man. Yeah. I want to go. Let's I'll, go to Illinois. Let's go. Let's go and ride the merry go thing. And then the house that they were in for most of the movie. Yeah, yeah. Was really cool, too. I mean, I want to live there. Some cool locations. Yeah. yeah, that was a great house. Yeah, we'll move in together. Let's move in. We, Let's... You can have the first floor. I'll take the basement and we'll summon demons on the second we'll floor. We'll summon stuffed animal puppet demon goat. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot going on. So the pacing was pretty consistent. Um, you know, but it's a lot happening. This and then that and then that and then what the hell and then what the heck and then yeah, this and then that. So it, you know, it flowed pretty well overall. I dig the 13 year old girl villain's motivation. Yeah. The 13 year old sure. girl is the main villain. Um, and her motivation was great. Yeah. She didn't want to be rich. No. Nope. She didn't want to be powerful. She nope. didn't want to take over the world or be famous. Her whole motivation is. Every person sucks. Everybody sucks. Everybody's horrible, and I just want to kill them. Get all. rid of them all. And that's cool. And I like that, you know, that they didn't really delve into other than that. Yeah. There's no backstory or exposition. Uh, in fact, they make fun of exposition a little bit, which is awesome. Yeah. So that's, I like that simple, just, Straight I hate everybody. Yep. Uh, that's, that's all we need, which is pretty realistic for a 13-year-old girl, yeah. too. So, yeah. I mean, it, it worked. Yeah. She had some wicked teen angst going on in her yeah. her little um, life. Yeah. And she could run. She could run. Holy she, crap, she could run. From she, Wisconsin, Illinois, which is like, what, 390 miles? Or yeah, from Wisconsin, Dallas to um, Ottawa, Illinois. It was like over 300 miles. Yeah, and the music, there's not much of a score, but there's a lot of music. A lot of uh, metal music. Yeah. There's some punk music. Punk. And some weird ass shit. And some weird ass shit. Yeah. yeah. Fun. Fun, fun. It's fun, fun, fun. fun. Da, da, da. Chasing shite around. You know what else is a lot of fun? Goat puppets. Goat puppets. There, they had a goat puppet. <laughs> Uh, half a goat puppet. Half a goat puppet. Yeah. Because it was cut in half. Or it was a full goat puppet, but it was only half the goat. Yeah, when it, when it screamed, it was like, ah! <laughs> I'm like, well, I don't know if a goat... Maybe. I've maybe never, uh, I've never cut a goat made, in half. I've never I've, made a goat scream I've, before. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's go into my area more so than you. Yeah. <laughs> so, some of the humor is so, funny. Rob, what am I everyone, wrong about? Tell everyone what you didn't like. <laughs> yeah. Let them hear what you're wrong about. Some of the humor, uh, they're a lot <laughs> funny, but some of it's got a little old, a little tiring. I'm like, this is just kind of dumb. 
um, and, and corny. It was intentionally corny, which is fine. And usually I like this stuff, but it's a mood yeah. movie, and I, maybe I just wasn't quite in the mood. Yeah, no, I could uh, see how someone who was wrong would think that. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> so I, I don't know. It, it didn't really ruin it for me, but it just sometimes it was like. Uh, some of that, you know, like I said, some of the acting was bad. A few of the characters, the little girl and the uh, the friend at the coffee table, and I don't know, yeah, some of the boyfriend, really just yeah. the, you weren't very good. No offense, offense. And then some of the characters were kind of annoying, yeah. mainly the ones we just said. Yeah. Uh. So the pacing, <laughs> you know, it was consistent pacing, but it felt weird at times. I felt like there was a lot of filler thrown in that's happening that wasn't necessary, maybe or. I don't know, but there's a lot going on, and it got to a point to where it was almost too much going on. Yeah. And it's like, too much of a good thing is almost a bad thing at times. There were times where you almost felt overloaded. Yeah, It was like, there's just too much shit, and now I'm tired, and yeah. we're only two-thirds of the way into the movie. It's like when you have a, a full sack of blue balls, and you just want to get it out. But and you want you keep going, but you can't finish it yet, and you know it's going to end at some point, and you but you're too tired to finish it, but you're going to finish it because then you'll have that relief and you'll be glad it's over. Um, there was a lot of what the hell stuff in this movie. <laughs> Speaking of that, there was almost too much at times. There was, yeah. yes. Um, yeah, it's just like, oh, you can't keep throwing more. The fucking assassin shows yeah. up, and then the creature from the woods, right? And, yeah, and, was and then the assassin has a bullet hole in his head, and he's like, oh, I'm I'm going to eat some pizza. The runtime just felt long, and that's why, I think. If they would have cut it up, you know, the editing maybe was a little weird. If they would have just tightened it up a little bit with the title card stuff, maybe take those out. The pre-credits was too long. The credit scene was too long. Yeah. So, like, throughout the movie, they have where they'll cut to, like, a title card to kind of tell you where they're at and things like that. Was really funny in Murder Made Easy. Right. It was very effective in, like, Clue. Here, it just didn't work. No. It, it could have been left out. And then some of the music, while wow, there's a lot of cool, there's some weird, what the hell is this yeah. garbage? Like uh, a kazoo with some guy going, or whatever. What was that? Meow, 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 meow. Yeah. <laughs> meow, 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 meow. So that's, uh, that's Grace's room. And that's yeah. what we liked and didn't like about it. So, <laughs> thank you. I know. So whatever, what, 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 so overall, what do you think of this movie? You start. Okay, so this is one of those. Uh, the more I think about, it, it's middle of the ground for me. Middle of the ground. Middle ground. You know, it's average for me. You know, if I was in a, it's a moon movie. So there's nothing that makes me love it. Nothing that makes me hate it. It was fun watching it. I probably wouldn't have watched it by myself. I'll probably never watch it again. But I think it's worth a watch. It's entertaining. Um, it's a good party movie. I think oh, it, would, yeah. it would be a good party movie. So I'm going to go middle of the road, go four out of eight. Okay, fair enough. Which, you know. So I'm going to spend the next ten minutes explaining why you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. It was great. It was hilarious. I laughed. I was having in, uh, a fun time with it. I was really into it. Um, it is a comedy movie with a few horror elements thrown right. in. Um, it, it does that comedy horror line to me really well. Like, Shaun of the Dead, I really loved. Oh, yeah. But they do a very hard turn mm -hmm. at and the two third up. mark yeah. where it's straight up horror now. This movie never did that. It continues to be comedy all the way through. Right. The only thing that would have made it better for me is boobs and gore. Yeah. Uh, which yeah, you, there was really no gore or boobs. No, no, no boobs, no blood. And I I'm dropping my score. No, you can't. Too late. It's on record. <laughs> I always want more boobs and blood in my in my horror sure. movies. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to give it a six out of eight and it would have got more if you had thrown in some boobs and blood, but yeah. you didn't. So, you know, that's good. That's, that's fair. Yeah. This is super indie and that's my, my gig. Oh I, yeah. I love super indie. Yeah. So. And we're all about indie horror yeah. for sure. Support indie Support horror. Support indie horror. Do it. Um, so we got a hashtag campaign going on we for do. that. Yeah, we do. We, we got a Facebook group that someone started that support indie horror. We're, yeah. Hey, we're, we're helping the cause. Support maybe. indie horror, everyone. Yeah. Support it. Uh, you know, support mainstream horror. Support all horror because we need it and we love it. Yeah. And, uh, you know, without it, you wouldn't have us. That's maybe that's, true. Maybe that's a good thing for you, but well. not for us. We like this. Yeah, on that note, if you like what we're doing, like, subscribe, the YouTube well. thing. Um, check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash stupid movies. We're over on Insta Burp. Um, <laughs> on Instagram, at Stupid Movies, at Dr. Sketch Turner, and at The Horror Punk. Email us at stupidmoviesoutlook.com. So check out Grace's Room if you want to. Check out other horror if you want to. Check out all horror. Email Rob pictures of half goats. Okay. Okay, bye, friends. <laughs>
<laughs> I you got you. I got you. 